Hey folks, Serpent Trading here, and um, I'm looking at Amond Mining today. And uh, just a heads up, I've actually bought a small stake in this already, and I see it more as a punt than a, a long term investment. Um, anyway, obviously, like on the long term chart here, we're looking at a continuous downtrend, and I feel sorry for any uh, investors that got in at an IPO. So the value of the shares have really uh, declined. And um, I'll get the bad news out of the way first. This um, company has spent something like £37 million. And uh, basically they left with about £5 million. Um, so the company have clearly um, underperformed. But uh, reading um, the literature on their uh, website... Um, I get the impression that they actually have a lot of experience and it's just uh, that things haven't really gone their way. But they have managed to cut their losses and uh, sort of retain some equity for the shareholders. Um, if I just put up their report, this was their flag flagship uh, mine, Tugson mine. And they had a 30% interest and um, due to some sort of operational issues uh, during the ramp up, um, they decided that it would be better off uh, to cut their losses than to get into more debt, trying to get everything up and running. And they sold for um, uh, 6 million euros. And uh, since then, that's back in February, since then they've been, um, they've been uh, looking for new, um, uh, new opportunities. And they mentioned here that they've looked at 60 opportunities oh i should have mentioned they invest uh, in spain so uh all their their assets are in spain and we don't know what we've been looking at but i would make an assumption that they're looking in spain as well um why do i like this firm well for one i said they've got about five million uh, euros left and uh their market cap isn't far above there at the moment. It's gone up a little bit this week. Uh, so I missed out the like for like um, cash for market cap sort of price. Um, they've got also got a couple of other assets. Um, they've got this uh, gold venture, uh, which isn't sort of uh, an amazing one, but it's still estimated to have rights to about... Uh, 11 to 65 tons of gold in Spain. Um, so, although not huge um, in value, it's going to have some value there. And uh, the other asset they have is uh, this um, mine that they have. And uh, they did have um, a sale of it fall through. Uh, that's not it. It was this one here. Uh, back in 2013. And uh, that was supposed to be going through for 5 million uh, euros, uh, but it fell through. So still holding on to that. And uh, they actually do mention um, their uh, annual briefing, annual uh, report, um, that, uh, that they're looking to try to realise something from those assets within the next 12 months. Regardless of that, they have some assets there. And uh, I can show you where it is. It's this here. This big hole in the ground. That's this. This is the mine, and uh, it's got some rusty old buildings there. Uh, apparently, it's a 210-acre site, um, and it was mined up to about uh, 1996. Um, but uh, this, you know, possibility of them uh, unlocking some sort of value there. Um, What's got everyone so excited about this, apart from the low uh, market cap and valuation, is uh, this statement in the last um, instrument report. And it's uh, saying that uh, they're pleased to announce that uh, they've been um, signed an exclusive agreement and uh, just following through the due diligence process on what uh, the board believes to be an exceptional resource opportunity. Um, so this should be, they got their ADM, um, AGM, um, for next Thursday and uh, hopefully we should hear some news about this and 
I think the way, let's go back and look at the technicals. Oh, one last thing. Uh, been a lot of buying as well. This veteran investor, Tom Anderson, has been buying a lot. And I've got a little news article that he was uh, buying uh, 28 million shares at 2.3p. Yeah, that was back in May. And then see, since uh, May, he's also bought another 40 million shares. June, July, August, September, all quite near the low. It's probably lowering his average quite a lot. Uh, there's other people that have bought the uh, ex uh, CFO has also bought um, quite a lot so there seems to be a lot of insider buying on here in this share and uh, we're looking at technical level we're looking at this as an uptrend from the low <laughs> back in March and it went down to uh, sort of uh, under half a P was it What's the, what's the low there? They had um, 0 0.42 of a pence. And they've been uh, steadily increasing since then. And a little bit of a spike up back in October. And uh, this week, you can see that you've got a bullish engulfing candlestick. And it's closing back outside this uh, this uptrend that's um, actually uh, almost already broken. Uh, it's dropped into the daily chart. I apologise if you can hear any noise outside. Uh, be one of my neighbours. Um, yeah, so today we've uh, we've closed outside this trend line on quite low volume though. So uh, I would expect more volume if this is going to keep pushing up. I would expect more volume to start coming into it. Um, from an upside sort of point of view, where would I be targeting? I would be targeting. Let's just shoot back out to the weekly. Yeah, so target wise, I am looking up at this uh, sort of uh, three and a half to four P area as uh, my short term target. And I think it's quite achievable. This uh, area has been long term the resistance uh, since the company was uh, IPO'd. <laughs> And um, from the downside, I would expect, it'd be nice if I could get that chart to do what I want. Yeah, I would expect this sort of area to provide some sort of resistance. So that's down at about the 1p mark. Uh, as I say, I bought in today and I've got in, it was quite hard to get a feel. But um, I, I don't feel there's going to be much opportunity for a pullback here. May, over the next couple of days, get a, a bit of a pullback. But um, I think it might be a case of uh, buying a rumour on this stock. Uh, maybe sell the news. We'll have to wait till Thursday to see what happens. Um, but that's just an update of uh, one of the stocks I've been buying. And hope you um, got something from this video. Uh, if you did, smash the like button. If you're um, investing in this already, comment down below. And anything else you want to mention, just comment down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, keep track of my other investments. And uh, I'm sure um, lots of uh, profits and mistakes as well. So I'll uh, catch you in the next video.